the first gap is in the coming up of the constitution. The team that sat to come up with the constitution, it <coughs> skipped some processes. For example, I don't remember any time where the districts were consulted on the articles put in the, uh, in the association constitution. This means that a team sat and did articles in their own interest because they did not consult anyone to be part of the process in making the constitution. What was done was to come up with a document, come to call people to the council, and they say this is our constitution. Do you agree with it? And the answer is yes, we agree, and it is passed. But when you ask people who were there in that council, did you go article by article to understand this document? They will tell you no. So that is the first thing. That, that was the, the first problem that people sat, made a constitution, called the people to pass it without understanding it. Then the second thing is the document itself. It is not in detail. Because it was, I think it was, um, uh, they, they asked it from them and they had to come up with the, a, a draft of it. When you look at the articles, the way they are laid, uh, for example, the most critical things are the, the finances, the meetings. You will find that they will say, the chairperson, council, shall call the meeting. Uh, an extra meeting or an annual meeting. But it does not go further to describe how they call the meeting. Is it on WhatsApp? Is it by email? Is it by phone call? You get. These details we are required. Now, what if the, 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 um, what if the chairperson council fails to call the meeting. What next? It is not well laid in the constitution. Okay, I'll, yes. come, I'll come back to you. Julius, yes, sir. we've been discussing this. Mm -hmm. Where are the gaps in the constitutions that is affecting the associations? First and foremost, Mr. Moderator, I would like to say, before we look at the gaps of the constitution, to me and to my understanding, are we following that, that constitution? You may, you may find it challenging that we haven't followed the constitution yet in its flame. But we are saying there is gaps. But after, like, what if we occupy those gaps? Are we going to follow that constitution? The, the process is already on about the, um, the review of the constitutions for amendment. Mm -hmm. Now that means there are gaps. Mm -hmm. So our concern is mm -hmm. you, we cannot set up a, a review commissions mm -hmm. if there were not gaps. We want people to understand where are the gaps in the constitutions that is calling for these review commissions. Yes, I agree with you that the committees, it is a slight roadmap. They are still in process. They haven't been informed. That is what I know. So you do, not, you do not see any gaps in the constitutions? The challenge is, yes, gaps may be there. But are we willing to follow that constitution after occupying those gaps? It's like you're telling me that that water is dirty, that, but I have not tested it. I have not known whether it is dirty or not. But so, the uh, secondly, the review committee, I think, uh, during the late, the late, the late, the late period or regime, they, they reviewed this constitution and they wrote several articles, though they were not forwarded to be verified by Gozu. But Apart from that, the gaps I may see in that constitution is uh, the people back to electoral ele elections. People never described, the, 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 the one who organized this constitution, they never described uh, how someone become a top leadership in the awareness of One, uh, you may find that we have now, we are pulling ropes on who's supposed to be the chief commission, which qualities do we need. You may find that. Some leaders from the adult department, they are saying, at least you have to, to bear with our degree in our, from our university, because 
<laughs> and others they are saying no as long as I'm someone of integrity, I can lead scout leaders. We shall have a we shall have a discussion. So on. no, this that yeah. was an example. We, yeah, we that shall. is a gap. That is a gap. So the, the, the members, I think, to their capacity, they are thinking that at least it was it was the role of the people who are made, who are making this constitution to start breaking down what 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 was needed. But to me, and my 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 colleague Masuba could uh, could could could, could testify me. That during the times when we are struggling in Kampala, he had his team, he has his group, his scout group. But the struggle was people were telling him, Masumba, you are a good leader, but first go to Kazi. For him, was saying, I have grown up when I'm a scout, I will have to lead this group. So, you may find that at least these people would have started here yeah, if you want a, a scout leader. You know, the chief commissioner, he has to be with this quality and this quality. And then they break them down to prevent that because you may find that someone to be like a district commissioner, you had to be with the old. Is that a gap in the constitution? That is a gap. I could say. Or that is what you wish to be put in the constitution? There are many which I may because of one. Because at this generation, things are changing. Do you remember that in 2015? By the, by the year 20, 2003, uh, in Uganda, WhatsApp wasn't, wasn't available. Okay. To my understanding. Yeah. But uh, right now, if they, we need also to put in a constitution the rules and regulation to follow the WhatsApp groups, the platform, even if it is Facebook or Twitter, so that members they may, they may be in good life with the association. Still getting, we are still getting back. We are talking, saying, we are saying. Mm -hmm. How are the constitutional gap affecting the situations? Mm. The, the designers of the constitutions, mm. are we not following the constitutions? Are we doing things on the way we want because we feel the constitution does not give us what we want? No. Someone do what he wants. That doesn't mean that the constitution doesn't give you what you want. But there is also a value. And say, I have to make up for that. I have to put up a new chapter. Okay, uh, let, let's hear from uh, um, The first thing I said is what my brother Julius is repeating. That the regime of the late, during his period, they came up with uh, something that was not sent to Wazoo. Why is it a problem that we cannot uh, implement our constitution? It is because the people who are supposed to implement it we are not part in its making meaning they will not understand it and even if they are not part of it it means the team that has come up with that draft or document it has to ensure that it circulates copies as drafts so that people read and understand and even the final copy and the constitution we are talking about now, I think it started to be in circulation on social media last year, 2022. But all the years back, people were not having these copies. That's why even someone brought what they call the pigeon, uh, a, a pigeon hall constitution. And it was also put on social media. And some vigilant scouts came up and asked, now, which of the two is the constitution until one member who was there in 2003 came up and said this is the constitution the true constitution meaning us who are not part of the process we cannot implement what we have not been part uh before we before we go for a break mm -hmm. one key thing that the constitution specify is the constitution dictates mm -hmm. Our election is supposed to be for four years, after yes. every four years. Mm -hmm. Uganda Scouts Association has had election in 2017. Mm -hmm. We are in 2023. Yes. The constitution is very clear that elections is after every four years. Mm -hmm. Do we want to amend the constitution to eight years? Why are we, why are we doing things without considering the constitution? It's because of um, power greed. People are greedy for power, not necessarily leadership. But I, 
because the constitution if it is after four years what stops us from implementing that article it's because the people are greedy they don't want uh, to, to, to know these uh, fair articles they don't want to read and when you come out to uh, notify them that hey look here this is a checkpoint I'm raising a red flag they'll say we're rebel Julius According to the Constitution, it's only the National Executive Commissioner that is legally in office. The Chairperson of the National Scout Council is in office illegally with all her team. The boards are illegal. The trustees illegal, according to the constitutions, because we do, we do we carry out election once mm -hmm. during the general elections. Mm -hmm. What is your take? The current chairpersons and all their teams are in office illegally because the constitution mandates only four years. No, they are not in office illegally. Ask me why. You may find that elections was there, but because the people were standing on the other article which says we shall have someone with high integrity. So when they found out that General Katumba Amara is a person of high integrity, next time, who are you to stand on General Katumba Amara? Everyone they are saying it is okay, let him continue with it, to finish up the period. Remember the constitution, first of all, the constitution gives us two terms in office of the chair of the chief commissioner. So they gave him these two terms. No. Which are, which the are the constitution says four years, four years and you can be re-elected. Was General Katumba re-elected? It was an opposed. Um, about that, Mr. Katumba was going to be opposed by me. Because when I asked which people are coming in for chief commissioner, I said, if there is anyone standing and is not opposed, I'm coming in. And I was telling the late Mr. Okello. The reason being me, in my lifestyle, I always want competition. And I always want to win on merit mm -hmm. when I have competed with someone. The issue of um, being an opposed People do things the way they like because they know no one matches me. Let's uh, let's, let's get back to Julius before we come. Yeah. So, well, let's, Julius, mm. according to the constitutions, mm. there are procedural issues mm. when it comes to elections. Definitely. Hold on a bit. Mm. The first time Diano came into office, mm. what was the right procedure followed? The first time, mm. it was unopposed. Yes. The second time he came to office, unopposed. Was the position announced? Was the electoral committee set in place? I, I, I could like to say this. I remember during the 2011 elections of uh, Nebu versus Muledu, though Mr. Muledu was suspended uh, prior to the election. On the day of the election? Not on the day, two days before elections. He was suspended. But Settings were there, that elections, even, even the ballots were there in place. That if the council say that Muled was free to participate in elections, everything was okay, the, the ballots were prepared, and voters were allowed. The person who prepares the ballot, who is in charge of this election, who supervises it, has to be the National Executive Commissioner of Uganda Scouts. So, Mr. The General, General Katuma Amala, when he came, for this selection. I think by the time members they never said I can compete. Because they whenever you know that he has four years. So you have to go up to headquarters and say I've come to stand. No, the, the issue is not about that. as long as you are a registered member from your country. The, the issue is not about general. Mm. The issue is about the election process yeah. in the Uganda Scout Association. By the and when we are having general elections, the chief commissioner is not the main. The first, the first on the agenda is the election of the chairperson council. Mm. The chief commissioner is just coming as part of the election. It's not the main. Was my question is from the first election of the, of the chairperson council mm. and the chief commissioner. Mm. When was that? I think uh, that is twenty twenty. As from twenty sixteen. Since the then. Person, since you? then, have we elected another chairperson council? Members, by, by the time of it this... It is a yes or a no. Have you it's elected? a no. 
He said no. What? I beg your pardon? Have we elected another chairperson council? Apart from, from, from 2016 Even if it's the same person. Well, it's the same person. Did we the elected. person come through there? She was unopposed. She was unopposed? Yes. Which election was that? That was 20, I think it has to be 2020. During COVID time. During COVID time. You and who? You it was you and who would make that election. There. I remember for us in our council, Makin, yeah, we sat, we, we elected our representatives. They pushed. I'm behind news. Let me come to Ken. Ken. So for me, what they said, decide in a council, you have always said council is a supreme. But if you say someone is an opposite, so who am I to vote? Let's, let's go to Ken. <laughs> Which election, which which council elected the chairperson, council and general for their second term? Which year was that? And who was the minute for that council meeting? Uh, what I know is people went through a process, which process was corrupted. Back to the constitution, the constitution does not tell who should be in charge of the elections. That's why Mr. Sevandeke says it's automatic, the, the, the neck is the supervisor. Now, the <coughs> discrepancies in uh, these elections, you find that the neck comes up with his team, organizes it. Remember, for these positions, you need to apply, right? You need to send in an application or interest. Mm -hmm. You express your interest. True. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. But here is a national executive commissioner who is purported to be the supervisor of the elections, who wants a certain team in office to supervise him. Uh, we shall come back after the break to have more discussions, viewers. Let's have a short commercial break. <laughs> 